Welcome back to my channel uh, with The Struggle Is Real. Today we're going to do a more enhanced uh, skin care treatment that I was able to get for from my niece who's an esthetician. So um, when I do wear makeup, so today, you know, after work, I just took a shower because it's easier to do some of the cleansing. But if I do wear makeup, I go in with this diamond pink diamond cleansing balm and it's just that it's like it feels like a silicone base it does have a perfumey scent which i don't mind but then um i go in with an actual cleanser afterwards because that will help get the makeup off and then an actual cleanser um i go in with an actual cleanser so tonight I went in with this Benton Deep Green Cleansing Foam afterwards. And then I um, got from Scar or Star Skin a little packet. Which it's um, something that you, it's some like liquid that you rub in your face for like two minutes. And I got this in my Ipsy, but with it came this little sponge thingy where you rub it use this to rub it in for two minutes into your skin so i actually have been using this with my other cleansers as well it's pretty cool it's a pretty neat uh cleanser and then um and if i don't uh have makeup to do i'll use the cleanser and then i'll use i'll go ahead and use a mask to kind of do it or and sometimes i may just do an eye patch with the um, Dragon's Blood Eye Masks Hydrate and Tone by Rodile. Um, I kind of really like this one. It's kind of um, pretty cool. And then this one I used Red Fruits Brightening Mask. I tried this one. There's a couple other ones that um, I've gotten into my Ipsy. And I've been using these masks whenever I um, only, if I don't have uh, makeup on and I only need the cleanser and then I would do this. Um, so today I had makeup, so I used that and then the cleanser and then, um, I used a toner and I just basically use this clear pore oil eliminating astringent, um, uh, from Neutrogena cause it has salicylic acid acne in, uh, in it. Um, but it burns my face. So I'm going to try, um, a different one that's less, um, burning to my face. Um, <laughs> My my daughter says, Mom, you're not supposed to use it if it's burning. I'm like, well, it, to me, it means it's working. but And I don't want to throw it away. So I'm using this, and then I'm going to go in with a different one if um, it continues to, or um, next time. I'm not going to buy that again because it, it does burn my face. So now that I have, I cleaned that, and I cleaned it with this exfoliating moving rounds. And I showed these products, I think, in my original skincare routine um some of these but i really like it because it it's woven and it it's um kind of feels like it's exfoliating uh, well actually that's what it says it's exfoliating um, so i use that and then so tonight uh, um last night i used the luna sleeping night oil oil by uh, Sunday Riley, but because it has the retinol and, um, and it's also got blue tansy, I love how it feels on my skin. When I use this, I, d I don't necessarily have to use a moisturizer because it's so oily or it feels kind of smooth and oily. Um, but I alternate with that because of the retinol and I was um, peeling around my nose um, because it was drying my face out. So tonight, I am going to use the Snar Skin Eye Cream. Ooh, and it's kind of thick so you only need a little bit um, and then rub it in obviously the cream and then um, as for the serum I alternate this Biro New York Bell Pepper Serum um, I really like this as well and so I alternate with this with the Sunday Riley at least right now I've been doing it and it's got a dropper so I just do that and then I mix it in I really like this it's it's nice 
feel soothing on your skin too. But then um, my, I used to not go in with um, a moisturizer after even that serum because it's so so soft. But my niece was saying after a serum, you really should do a moisturizer. And so in my um, uh, Ipsy, I got this 111 Skin Cream. It's oh, actually, it's a cryoactivating hydrogel. Um, it says use after cleansing and toning. So I don't know if it's really meant to go after a serum, but I'm going to try it. But I'm going to let this, I think, dry for a second. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go in. I just put a small amount because my face is already feeling very um, hydrated um, from the serum. But I'm going to go ahead and put that over that. And then for this, um, for lips, this is a lip theory, lip, lip therapy, lip mask by Awake. And I haven't used this yet, but I'm going to go ahead, put it on my lips. Ooh. It's really smooth. I was thinking I would use this, and then usually at night, I've been using the fruit butter lip mask and i really like this and how it's is kind of has a slight smell to it watermelon smell i think it's watermelon or it's some type of and i really like that but this i really like too it's really smooth on the the lips um and then of course you know that's my regimen for at night and then during the in the morning if i'm gonna wear makeup i go ahead and I use um, my, as you know, the complexion clearing pads that I showed in a previous video, um, just to kind of make sure I cleanse my skin, but it's, I feel like it's pretty clean in the morning. And then I go ahead and do my eye cream, and then I use this Awake Serum, because it kind of has that tacky feeling. And so I've been using this um, before my makeup. Um, not as a primer, but as a moisturizer type thing. Um, and then I go in with, you know, the the primer and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I should still go in with the moisturizer over this. I don't know. But it kind of has that tacky feeling, so I haven't been. Um, but that's my skincare routine. Now, if um, in the morning, if I'm not going to be wearing makeup, I'll just cleanse my skin with the, those pads, with the with the pads put my moisturizers and stuff on but I won't use this serum I'll use um, I'll probably use the spell serum again and then at that night I'll use the Sunday Riley um, serum for at night um, if I don't wear makeup on the weekends and then of course on the weekends if I'm not wearing makeup like I said I'll, I'll do a mask um, to kind of thoroughly cleanse my skin and stuff and this is some tips on um, trying to keep your skin good. I've had a problem, if you've heard my other video, with um, severe acne. And I was on Accutane and everything. So I'm really trying to um, make sure my skin uh, doesn't break out again because that stuff is um, very harsh to the body. And it dries you out and it's, it's just really harsh. So I trying to prevent myself from having to go back on that medication so if you have any um if you have any similar problems or you think that um, any of these will be helpful please let me know and if you want to see future um skincare routines let me know and comment below have a good night bye